Let's look at the marquee tool now. Small note, if you want to learn about the other tools, watch the previous video, number 24 of the series. This video will only be about the marquee. As I have said in my workflow, I keep the pointer tool as my left click tool and the marquee tool as my command and click tool. So I will leave it as is and I will be demonstrating everything the way I normally use it. Before we go on, as I mentioned in my previous video, you can go to Preferences, Command Comma, General, Editing, and check Marquee Tool Click Zones. Now when you hover your mouse uh, on the lower half of a region, it will act as the Marquee Tool. I don't like that, so I'm going to put it back. But it's there in case you want to use it. The first thing we are going to talk about is Playback. When I click anywhere with the marquee tool, it doesn't matter where it is, it can be an empty track or on the region, it will create this little line here, that's a playback point. And that uh, will make playback start from here and it will completely ignore my playhead. So my playhead is here on bar nine, now when I press play, it starts from my marquee point. Same with the read, as when cycle is on, so C as in Charlie, again it will start from wherever it is and ignore the playback and it will keep starting from here until I press anywhere else to remove that line. If you don't want playback to start from the marquee selection you can simply right click on the play button and uncheck play from marquee selection. Right now you will see it will ignore the marquee selection and start from the cycle. Let's put it back because I really like it. This actually makes your workflow uh, much faster because you don't have to go all the way up to the ruler, set your playhead there and then press play. You can just simply quickly Oops. Just do that. Now before demonstrating the next feature, I'd like you to turn on the marquee ruler because we are going to be making selections based on the grid and that ruler will be helpful. So go to view have mine already checked and then check marquee ruler. Now if I want to preview a section I can click and drag the marquee to create a playback range. So let's try, let's get this one out of the way, let's try this node here. And since the marquee ruler is on we also get the marquee stripe up here and that of course follows the snap mode that is enabled. So if I change my snap to bar for example Right now it will snap to bars. Let's put back to smart. Now the playback will only play for my selection and then it will stop. And as, as before it will again bypass the cycle even if my selection is within its range. Now once I make a selection with the marquee tool I can also set my cycle range to that. If you remember from the cycle video, I can set the cycle by selection, which is command and U, as in uniform. So I'll make a selection, this is fine, I press command and U, and the cycle is enabled just for my selection. Of course, making a selection does not only create a playback range, but it also allows us to make any edits that we want. And it doesn't have to be one just one region. I can select multiple regions. For example, let's get command and let's get these four here. And I can hold and drag to select as many as I want. And if I want to add another region on my selection, I can. I have to hold, be holding down command, so I'm on the marquee tool, and then hold shift and click on the ones that I want. Of course, the opposite applies. If I want to remove a region, I click on it while holding down shift and I deselect it. Now if I want to adjust the range of the selection, I keep holding shift and then click to expand on either side. So let's say I want to go all the way to here and then to here. I can't make the selection smaller like that, because if I want to make the selection smaller, I have to use the marquee ruler and adjust it the way I want. Or I can simply just hold down shift while I'm on the ruler and as you can see my mouse changes and adjust like that. Another way of doing it is by using the arrow keys. So let's make a selection 
So once you've made your selection, you let go of Command and Shift, and then you can use the right and left key to change the range of the selection by moving the right edge and having, having it snap at the beginning of a transient if you are at an audio track, or at the beginning and end of a MIDI note if you are on a software track. So I have my selection, I can press right, the right arrow, and as you can see, it snaps transients. Let's have a look at the MIDI, the beginning and end of the notes. And if I want to change my, let's try this one, the left edge, I hold down shift, and then use that. If I want to extend my selection to where my playhead is, I hold down command and then press the right bracket if my playhead is after the marquee point and the left bracket if my playhead is before the marquee point. So let's have a look. I'm going to place it here, make my selection here. So I keep holding down command and I'm going to press the right bracket. It extends all the way to my playhead here. And let's try this one. So command and left bracket. It extends to my playhead here. Now to move the whole selection to the left or right by transient or by MIDI note, depending on what kind of track you have selected, you hold down shift and move to the right. To move to the right, you press the end key. And to move to the left, you hold down shift and press the home key. Same goes here, of course. If you want to move uh, the playhead to where your marquee start and ending points are, instead of shift, you press control and home or end key. So control and home and control and end. Another way to move the selection that doesn't follow the transients or MIDI notes is to do the same thing we've done with the cycle bar. You know, I can just simply grab the bar, let's make it a bit bigger, and move that. Of course, as I said, this will follow my snap mode, so if you want to be more surgical with it, hold down Control, click on it first, then hold down Control, and then move it. And it will bypass the snap mode. Now let's look at editing with the marquee tool now and you will see how diverse this tool is. The first thing I want to talk about is snapping to transients. If you are coming from Pro Tools, you will recognize that as the tab to transient function. This is the exact same function here, and it's really helpful if you want to make surgical cuts, and even more helpful when you're editing audio that is percussive. So let's say that I want to make a cut at the beginning of the transient of uh, this note here. So I will place my marquee point here, just a bit before that, and then just by using the arrows, I can navigate between the transient points of the waveform. So I'm going to press the, arrow, the right arrow key, and it will go to the beginning of that transient. Now mind you, you know, as in Pro Tools, it's not perfect. You may have to zoom in and readjust it. But once you find the spot that you want to split the region, you can press delete or backspace, and it will split it to a new region. Let's go back. Uh, let's say I want to select the whole note here. Let's say that this one's a kick, and I want to select the kit, kick, and cut it. Again, I do the same thing. Command, I will put my marquee a bit before that. Right arrow key to go to the beginning of the transient. Then I hold down shift and press the arrow, right arrow key to select the whole kick or note, whatever you have, and it will go to the beginning of the next transient. Another very useful function is to have the marquee tool act as the scissors simply by double clicking where you want to split the region. So let's say I want to split here, double click, it will split it. Double click here and it will split that. Let's command Z. Now, if I want to split a selection, let's say that I want, as before, I want this note here. I don't have to cut the edges. So I can, let's go, command, right, hold down shift, I select the whole thing. Just to, to split that, I simply have to click on it and it just splits the note. There's also a key command for that. I think it's control command and T, control command and T, yes, as in tango, that will split my note into a new region. 
Now, if you want to delete the selection, then you simply press delete. So I have the selection here, wrong key. I can simply press delete or I can press backspace. It will do the same. Let's command Z. If you want to delete the region, but not the selection you have made, then you make your selection and then press command and backwards slash. And as you can see, it deletes everything. This can of course be done, you know, with multiple selections. So let's try it. Let's get all of these and then command and backwards slash. Yes, split and it will split. As you can see, it will take, get rid of everything from the left and right. Let's command Z to go back. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite functions that doesn't work in the latest update of Logic for some reason. During the making of this video, the latest version is 10.7.2. It does work on the previous versions though, and I'm sure they'll fix it in the future versions. You can duplicate a selection without splitting the region. So you make a selection, and then you option drag, and it creates a new copy without splitting the region. But in this version, it does split the region. But if you don't want to split the region, there is another way. Let's have a look at that again. So let's say that this one is the kick that we want. I make my selection, then I press Command C, and now I can paste that wherever I want. So let's say I'm going to paste it, paste it here. I create my marquee point here, and then I press Control V, Command V, and I make a copy of that without splitting the region. Let's say that I want this one. Command and C, I place my marquee here, Command V, and I get a copy of that. Let me show you something else as well. So let's say that I want this one right underneath, exactly underneath that region, but in the new track. So I will command C that. I will click here on the new channel. I will go to edit and then paste at original position and we'll copy it exactly underneath that. Now, mind you, everything I'm showing you here apply, applies to software tracks as well. So it can be done on anything. Now, we haven't looked at bouncing or bouncing in place yet, but let's have a quick look. You have the option of bouncing a region in place. So if I get this MIDI region down here, and I want this but in audio, not in MIDI, I can bounce it in place. So I can press Ctrl and B, as in bounce, and press OK. And now I have a mid, uh, an audio version of that MIDI region here. Let's Command Z to go back. Now with the marquee tool, there's an advantage because I can select the range that I want. I can either have a small region like that, or even better, I can have I can select the range and make it bigger. So this one is just three bars. So I'm going to hold down Command and make that four bars, and then Control B, press OK. And now that is a bit easier to work with if I'm working with blocks that I know are in bars of 4 and 8. So let's Command Z and go back. Now the marquee tool can be really helpful with automation, flex time and selection based processing. Since we have not looked at automation and flex time yet, I thought that I should include the marquee functions on those videos instead of this. So have a look at the Automation and Flex videos to learn more about the marquee functions on these. Uh, lastly, you can assign some key commands that will work nicely with the marquee tool. So let's open up the key commands. So it's Option and K as in Kilo. And let's write marquee. Now we have looked at most of these, uh, but the ones without the key command, so for example, this one. Now it, you can assign anything you want to it. Anything, but for I don't see <laughs> that you need to assign and know a command to bring up the marquee ruler, especially since you only do it once and then forget about it. So I have been pushing and will be pushing the use of shortcuts in this course, but only for the ones that you use often. So not this one. Uh, let's also look at the zoom. Now, anything that says, that has the word selection on it, 
you can think of it as something that includes the marquee tool. For example, you can set this one selection vertically and horizontally. Now, I never use this. Uh, we've had a look at all the possible zooming options in Logic, and for me that's enough. But it's there in case you want to assign a key command to it. So let's get rid of that. And lastly, I will leave you with this. As you have seen, the marquee tool can do most of the edits that you need. Cut, move, delete, copy, and a few more we haven't seen yet. So by having the pointer and marquee tool available, you can do almost everything. Now most users use maybe 10% of what the marquee can do. So learn to use most of the things I've showed you here and your workflow will not only look professional, but it will be super fast as well. So please do not ignore this wonderful tool. It will elevate your workflow.